Hello. Hey guys, welcome to this video, which is all about revealing the changes that we made in our house in the Philippines. Yep. So you'll remember that when we first arrived uh, about three and a half months ago, the, uh, the house wasn't in great shape and we had lots of plans to fix it up. And in this video, you're going to see uh, what we did and the outcome. So if you stick around all the way to the end, you'll see the final product. Yep, so stay tuned. Stay tuned and remember to subscribe to the channel and to like this video because it really helps us. Enjoy. See ya. Afternoon guys, so it's already um, afternoon here and we're about to start our garden. Al is starting picking big rocks. We will be uh, transferring them into the other side of the house. grinding the electric fence so we are going to remove all of it going to remove those um stepping stones all of these stepping stones because our plan is we will uh, put grass here till the end and we will put a plant 
that would uh, block this area we would uh, plant here so then the people can just use those um, pathway and yeah we'll also make this whole place um, a grass on the other side we will just leave it um, with uh, a lot of stones there because we are planning to do something there in the future but for the meantime we will just uh, leave it as it is and because there's a lot of big rocks there and we don't know where we will throw it so the we will plant uh, some of those plants over there on that curve and I think it would uh, look great and we have uh, some calatheas left we might plant them at the back So these Kalachuchis still surviving and we might uh, put um, big pots here I don't know how many maybe one two three four five six or five big uh, pots and I'm going to plant the bougainvilleas on those big pots and we still have coconut unfortunately the coconut has been eaten by the goats <laughs> um so the plan is we might uh we will plant them somewhere i don't know yet Date night, it's Halloween. <laughs> yeah, it's Halloween. And vegan is buzzing, right? It really is yeah. buzzing. Very busy here today. But it's good. It's good to be out. Yep. Let's go see if we can get a table. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Well, we are lucky. We got a table. Because it's not easy here at Kalia Brewery. Is it Kalia Brewery? It is. <laughs> it is Kalia <Palia> Brewery. <laughs> We've been here before. And, um, yeah, it was actually during your birthday. Dinner is done. How was it, babe? It was good. Yeah, you enjoyed it? I did. It was yeah. nice. Yep. But we are so tired. We are. I had the smoked chicken. And I had the uh, beef uh, ribs. Oh no, beef barbecue. <laughs> See? I'm so tired. Yeah. Let's walk back to the bike now. Yeah. <laughs> And head home. Okay, so our progress has finally arrived. So we basically ordered 130 square meters. And this morning we started layering out the grass on this area. The, the one where I ordered this one are really very helpful. They even helped us layering the frog grass. And they even um, let us borrow the net as well. So today we've got some solar going on the roof here. It's a 5.5 kilowatt 
on-grid system, so no batteries, uh, but we'll be able to export our unused energy back into the grid and get some credit for that, which is fantastic. Yeah, so the good thing about it as well is like, well, we are in Australia, then we don't have to worry about paying our recycle bill here. Yeah. Because we don't have to pay any electricity. Yeah. The ISECO bill is not that expensive, to be honest. Yeah, it's, no, it's not. Yeah, but nevertheless, um, this is a good investment and um, will add value to the house and will help us out along the way. And uh, the guy who's looking after it for us, Louis, is fantastic. So if you're in this area and you're after solar, we'll uh, introduce you to him when he arrives a little bit later and we'll make sure that we can give you his details. Yeah, Sir Louis is also the one um, who installed our cameras here in the house. Yeah. Because we also had camera installation. We here. did. We've just had a new um, CCTV system uh, yeah. put in and he did that for us. He did a great job, him and his guys. Yeah, because our old system isn't working and we don't have access to it. Yeah. So there you go. See ya. See ya. Guys, I promised that I would introduce you to Louis, our electrical engineer who has put in our solar today with yeah. his great team. And he's also done a bunch of other work here for us, including our CCTV um, system. And we're gonna have him back to do even more work. He's really, really good. So if you're in the Iloco Sur area and you need any form of electrical work done, including solar, um, I'm going to leave Louis' uh, contact details down below. Right. Thanks, Louis. We really appreciate all the hard work that you and your team did today to put the solar up and all of the other work that you did. Okay. Thank you for uh, your trust, sir, uh, Kyle. Cheers. Thanks, mate. Thank you. So that is the electricity sorted out. How was that? It was really good. Very um, smooth, wasn't yeah. it? They're great in there, really yeah. helpful. She was really nice. They made um, made our life easy here. So it so, was really good. There you go. One more piece of admin finished. <laughs> G'day everyone, welcome back. This is the house tour. So uh, we'll get straight into it and we'll show you around what we've done in the house. Now, if you don't remember what it looked like, we'll um, try and throw some photos in here, but you can always look at the original video of when we came back and how we found it. Uh, we'll try and link it here if we can. <laughs> Uh, but we're out the front now, so let's start here. What do you reckon, Kimmy? Yeah. All right. Let's start. So, um, first thing is, you may notice that the electric fence is gone, so it's no longer the local prison. We uh, <laughs> we got rid of that because um, it's not necessary. Yeah, and we don't need it here. Definitely don't need it here. Uh, and it was just causing more issues um, than what it was worth. And also, 
uh, it was ineffective. Yeah. So absolutely pointless having it there. Yeah, and um, especially with like you know kids uh, roaming yeah. around, it's it's kind of like dangerous for the kids. Hundred percent. We don't want that. Uh, we don't want to hurt anyone. Yeah. And, you know, the last reason is that it didn't look very good yeah, either yeah, uh, and didn't have a good feel about it sort of living inside a, a compound. Yeah. So <laughs> reminded me of being in Iraq again. So <laughs> I didn't need that. Um, so out the front, I think uh, you can see there we've just sort of tidied up the grass and uh, behind us is the newly painted gate that was uh, not the, the painting wasn't finished on that. And on the inside, there was some graffiti. So we've painted over that. Um, how about we move inside? Yeah, let's, let's, let's go. <laughs> so Kimmy's taking us in. Welcome. Here we are. Now let's, <laughs> let's save the reveal of the, of the garden. Let's look at my beautiful gate first. You ready? <laughs> yeah. Oh, so I'll turn this way so they don't see the garden. All right. So there it is. It's a white gate. Thrilling. And here's the big reveal. You ready, Kim? Yeah. Boom, there we are. So there's uh, the the garden and the difference that we've made in it. The grass has been really growing very well. Yeah, yep. So this is frog grass. It's um, a type of grass that doesn't need a lot of Cutting, mowing, yeah. which is great. Uh, so I'll get Kim to talk about some of these plants because <laughs> I don't know about them. <laughs> so we get all our plants from Louisa's Plants. You can check her page, Louisa's Plants. It's not sponsored. So <laughs> <laughs> most of these are, um, we got it from her. So we chose Calathea, which is this kind of um, plants. We just uh, we just like the look of it. It's like feeling more like you know we what we normally see uh, normally see on resorts, and then we have this um, the curtains, and I don't really know what's this. It's a plant. Just, yeah, it's just like you know ornamental <laughs> plants that you know you yeah. can easily get here in the Philippines. We have also this one, which is called the Picara plants, and some palm plants yep. that uh, easily grows here in the Philippines. And of course, we planted some Kalachuchis trees because we like the look of it, and especially when the flowers bloom. Yeah, and we, uh, we were hooked up with them through one of our friends, weren't we? Yeah, so we got it from our friend. Thank yep. you, Mom uh, Yoli, for the Kalachuchi and yeah so most of this area we just planted um the like tr tropical plants that would yeah. easily grow outdoor and the idea here is that these are the base plants and when we come back mm. we'll, we'll plant out Some the rest more. of these beds yeah. so they'll be full of these plants will grow reasonably tall and we'll do all the under planting when yeah. we come so back hopefully once we get back they're all like you know Mm. Uh, they would already grow thicker yeah and would uh, make it look more nicer yep so on the center we have um we have the bougainvillea so we get this bougainvillea from the angel's garden at, Mag uh, at magsingal and it was a really quite a journey going there, but it was worth it. Mm -hmm. These are, uh, we chose this one because we hope that it will get uh, bigger and we could like, you know, make like a tree that would give a shade. good shade. Yeah. So that's yep. really the main purpose of having the bougainvillea. Mm -hmm. And aside from it, we love the color and its flowers. What's yeah. this one called? It's called the... Uh, Mr. Universe? Miss Universe. Uh, Miss Universe, <laughs> this one. Yeah. yeah, it has two different colors. Yeah. White and a purple. So Very good. yeah. Uh, and we then love it. Down here, this was um, oh we, we had to redo a bit of the um, uh, septic um, plumbing, uh, so that was just a small job. But um, this here used to be an open um, space open sullage pit mm -hmm. um what you, like a gray water pit so 
we had it concreted over the top. Um, it was unhygienic and it was dangerous just having tin on top. So we fixed that up and uh, we've got a few pots in there. Um, but the idea here is that we'll just completely cover it with pots of beautiful plants. And what are these ones called, Kim? Well, I think um, I'm the wrong person to ask okay. that one. Now I already forgot the oh. names of the <laughs> All right. uh, well. of the plants. But these are just also like, you know, very common tropical flowering plants. Yep. Originally, we actually uh, planted bamboos here, which I think they didn't really look great. I mean, they look good here, but it didn't really work well. Because I feel hot. like, yeah, it's too mm. hot in this area because the whole day, the sun really hit this mm. area. And so it was not uh, well. Yeah. So we have to transfer it on the other side. So in the terracotta pots, they're obviously more um, bougainvillea, are they? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, bougainvillea. Showing my... Um, my expertise um, and this this one here uh, this palm what's that called it's called Parad uh, travelers palm travelers palm yeah, so we're travelers. hoping that this one will grow up and fan out to cover the front yeah. of the wall it, yeah. uh, it has actually a shape of like a fan mm. like you know yeah. like a fan because yeah. the it's uh, branches would or leaves would like shape like a V yeah all right, let's head over to the other side. So we're at the front of the house now that was just sort of down the side that you saw. So the idea was that we get rid of as many of those stones that were here as possible. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we, un we understand that stones are budget friendly. Um, and if, you know, they're, they're easy, quick and easy and cheap. Yeah. However, um, it's like concreting all around your house. It yeah. just, in this weather, it's super hot. And those stones, they're, they're horrible, really. They go everywhere. They yes. get into everything. Yeah. So the idea um, or the inspiration, really, was to cool everything down. But the inspiration was um, our travels in Southeast Asia. So we've been to Bali. Um, we've, you know, been to Vietnam. Yeah. Um, individually, we've been to other places around Southeast Asia, like Thailand and Malaysia and um, Indonesia. Um, Singapore, um, even even it's not Southeast Asia, but well, I suppose it is Timor. Yeah. So uh, we've drawn a lot of inspiration from all of those places, um, and we kind of we're going for the relaxed tropical vibe. zen <laughs> feel. Yeah. yeah, and really mainly, um, we've uh, really wanted to have uh, like you know the gr uh, put a lot of grass as much as we can because you know we will be having our baby here next year mm. and hopefully he would uh, i mean it's a good place for him to like have a playground yeah yeah so where we're standing right now right in front of the house the plan is to put a pool here it always has been so um but um that's not obviously going to be until after we come back probably six months after we come back so it'll yeah. be more than likely 2025 the beginning of 2025 mm -hmm. so uh, we just didn't want to leave it weeds so we planted this out as well yeah. so i'll turn the camera around and show you where we are and what it looks like okay so this is the front of the house and you can see another bougainvillea there we left that one in its pot so that when the pool goes in we can just lift the whole thing out and transplant it again frog grass um, to cool the place down and to stop it being so dusty we left um, these stones in um, but really looking forward to them going as well um, and that's just down where we were down here the side of the house and then kim's put a lot of pots around the the veranda, the veranda. so this is still pretty basic because remember we're not living here full time just yet but the idea is that a lot of these plants will grow up the poles and will uh, climb. climb across the um, so we'll have bougainvillea and other stuff along along the top there yeah. which will look really nice um, what sort of bougainvillea is that one Kim this one 
one? I don't really know. <laughs> no, actually, this uh, bougainvillea is just a ver uh, variegated one. Right. Yeah, so it has different colors. So it's so, got six different bougainvilleas all grafted together, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, there's color purple, orange, um, like white ones. There's also ones here that are, yeah, other colors that hasn't shown up yet. But I believe it's like four or six grafted different colors of bougainvilleas yeah but yeah we will be uh, transferring them on the future yep so we're on the other side of the house now and you can see that we've left the stone here but we've put in a garden bed yeah. um, along there uh, the most significant thing here really is that we've sort of we've got rid of the burn pit which was right here just mm -hmm. a couple of meters from the house yeah. so um from, from my perspective, unhealthy and unhygienic, so we got rid of it. Um, we deal with our trash in a different way than burning it right beside the house. So yeah. uh, that was the main thing. It's all nice and tidy. And tell us about the plants in this one. <laughs> this one. So this one, uh, these are the bamboos that really didn't uh, grow well on the other side. So they're still on the recovery stage at the moment, but I reckon they would uh, grow better here because this area gets more shades compared to the others, uh, to the other side of the house. So yeah. hopefully they will really grow well and make uh, become thicker and would cover I mean, I mean, I mean, would add a like green backdrop. Yeah, backdrop to yeah. Here, here in the fence. And just sort of um, give a cool tropical Vibe. feeling yeah. to everything. Yeah. So eventually in here, there will more than likely need to be, well, on the pump room over there, the well room, we need to put a, a roof on that. Um, so we'll be doing some building there. We'll more than likely also have a uh, pool pump room here and a storage room we'll yeah. put in here as well and we'll do that um, more than likely before we do the pool yep um, and just over here beside you what are what's tell us about these ones kim this one yeah this is the uh citron, just uh the citronella plant that was already here and yeah. and another um frangipani, frangipani but a different color yeah, yeah. So hopefully this frangipino would grow and become like a tree and would mm. give a good shade in the house. Yeah. yeah, yeah, perfect. All right, let's go and have a look at a couple of other things we've done. <laughs> so we're on the front veranda now. We're looking at the garage and not that you can see it, but there's 10 solar panels up there which feed a, um, just over there, a 5.5 kilowatt inverter. So we've now got um, some uh, on-grid solar which means that whilst we're away um, we'll be generating electricity that goes back into the grid and we'll get credits this house also didn't have a permanent meter so we got that sorted out and also a net meter for the solar the other thing that it didn't have was um, electricity or proper uh, lights electric lights in this ceiling around the veranda it just had um, some pretty cheap and nasty um, solar lights, which were um, also over in the garage, which didn't work. They just punched a hole straight through the tin, put a little solar, tiny little solar panel on the top, and not one of those lights worked. So now we've replaced all of this in here, um, and eventually we'll be putting a ceiling on here as well, maybe like a rattan ceiling or something like yeah, that. to make it cooler. Yeah, well, it'll be a bit cooler, but it'll also look cool, won't it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're inside. <laughs> um, here inside, there's not really much that has changed, except, you know, when we arrive here, there's not really, um, like, tables, even a single table left here. So we have to purchase uh, some tables. Yeah, so we purchased some furniture it's got sort of interim furniture because we're not living here permanently yeah. at the moment um, same with the outdoor furniture that you would have just seen that's um, probably not the outdoor furniture that we will have permanently but it got us through this three months yeah. 
So inside, um, really the only work we did was the security system and also we replaced all of the doors with quality you know, mahogany hardwood doors rather than the, um, the ones that were here which weren't, uh, weren't faring too well. They were sort of the cheaper softwood uh, variety which had soaked up a lot of moisture. So um, other than that, uh, I think that's about it. So future plans, um, you know about the pool outside and we'll keep working on the garden and uh, we'll, we'll probably upgrade the solar system at some stage. Inside, I think there's going to be a heap of stuff that we will do. Yeah. Um, we will more than likely, down the track in the next couple of years, replace the kitchen uh, with a more sort of modern looking, um, more functional kitchen. Yeah. We'll also re uh, redo the bathroom. So there's there's already issues with the you know the tapware and and stuff like that. And we're not crazy about the choice of tiles or how it's done. So we'll more than likely um, gut that and redo it. Uh, we're considering uh, converting this to a three bedroom rather than a two bedroom at the moment. So it's a bit of a and we knew this before we bought it, um, but a bit of a crazy design in that the second bedroom is actually larger than the master bedroom. So um, that can pretty easily be converted into two separate bedrooms. So we might do that. The other thing that we're looking at is uh, an ensuite. So putting an ensuite on the side of our bedroom, yeah. uh, the master bedroom. So Does this only have the one... Um it yeah. for your whole house. Yeah, which is fine, yeah. but um, there is space um, to put in a, a really nice, uh, you know, en suite. En suite. Yeah. So that's it. I think that's everything, is it, Kimmy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it's been, uh, we, you know, we've worked really hard, but we've also had time to relax yeah, and enjoy. Yeah, and get to meet friends, go out. We went to um, other places, as you know, Shergao and La Union. Uh, we went over to Davao. Um, we've socialised and met all of our neighbours and, and the local community. So it hasn't been like we've, we've spent every waking moment here doing this. But when we were here, we worked pretty hard. And let me tell you, it is hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it is really very hot right now especially um it's the dry season yeah. yeah yeah super hot so there you go guys hope you enjoyed it uh we might put a little bit more b-roll here on the end so you can get a um a sweeping sort of view of it all and we'll see you in the next one bye i feel the liquor holding on to my breath playing back every word that i said I'm sitting in the dark, reminiscing on the two of us I didn't think you'd leave, baby, I guess I was just thinking that wasn't my best We had everything, it was gone before the summer started Got the memory of a love